unbelievable. My wonderful people, you won't believe it too. You know the young guy, university um, student who tweeted and says, Aisha Buhari is growing fat, you know, eating the poor people money in the country. And she first of all sent DSS, they beat hell out of the guy. As if that was not enough. Do you know what else happened? After beating him, they've taken the boy to prison. You heard me. They don't put the boy for prison now. Nice Solomon, they just say, where? Since after the boy, you know, insult Aisha, you know, it's say Aisha now though they wear three people dressed. We'll know that they'll go find Solomon. Solomon day long. Uh, long. Whether I will go find her now. Whether I go find that one now. Eh, put for prison too. Because anybody when he cash when he insult Aisha now, the person now they turn you know na prison, I go see safe. Let's get all the details. The first lady of Nigeria, Aisha Buhari has been condemned by the former minister of youth and sports solomon d longs over the arrest and detention of a student of the federal university danso jigawa state aminu adamo recall that aminu was arrested following a post on his twitter account where he accused the wife of president muhammad buhari of feeding on nigerians money De Long, in his reaction to the trending issue, said the wife of the president has gained weight. That she now wears a three, she now wears a dress meant for three people. According to Daily Nigeria, the former minister stated it in a short video addressing that Aminu only echoed the reality of the situation. De Long was quoted saying, "If you look at Aisha now." You would notice that she has added weight. Even the size of the jalavia she wears now can accommodate three people. Is it, is it that before? Is it like that before? She wasn't having the rest of her mind. That's why. Because there was a limit to what she could do. But now she has freed herself from everything and going into unbelievable agreement with people who are destroying the nation he condemned aisha for not speaking up for the people that are being held by terrorists and but enjoying a lavish lifestyle and that is why she's now wearing three people's clothes he condemned her greatly she now lives a luxurious lifestyle she is now presently in dubai that's where the president the, the uh, wife of the president lives now they long laughed added that now she has power she's living a lavish lifestyle in the villa without worrying about the people being held by terrorists she has taken over her child taking care of her children the black the backtrack from supporting her immediately i noticed she wasn't realistic because you you because you would never hear her say a word demanding justice for the victims attacked in this country Rather, she would do other things, live a lavish lifestyle. The young boy spoke and she has put him in prison. Is that how you lead a country? Is that what you should be doing for people? She has put him in prison for speaking up and saying what she has done that is wrong. She doesn't speak for the people, not anymore. So my wonderful people, this is exactly what is happening. This is what is going on. And every one of us can see for ourselves. You can see, I can see. We all know exactly what's going on. This is the woman who initially, when the administration started, was saying, ah, we are the men. They have taken the administration over from us. We can't do this. We can't do that. Currently today, she does not give a damn. You heard me. She doesn't care what happens to any single person. She's actually, in fact, all her children are graduates, all her children are married, I, agree, I presume. And so everything about her is settled and she cannot be bothered. So whatever happened to Nigerians, she can't be bothered. This is what is going on right now. This is what is happening. And so whether you like it or not, you can see for yourself that Nigerians, we all must, must stay together. I know it, we, we're, not, we're not saying it is right for her, for her to be insulted. We do not, we are not, we are, I mean, disclaimer, we're not saying go and insult your elders is wrong. There are better ways to communicate your grievances. 
rather than resulting to insults. Yes, however, as a mother, if your child does what is right, do what's really wrong, do you go ahead and you just take the life of the child because he did what is wrong? No, you correct the child. You correct the child. That's what you do as a mother. So she's supposed to be the mother of the nation. That's why I'm mentioning that. But her disposition, mm -mm, mm -mm, shameful. She put this young boy in prison. She has put the young boy in prison. And then you tell me she cares for Nigerians. I beg to defer. I beg to take a different, different turn. I beg to defer. This woman has no iota of care for no single person. No single person whatsoever. No single person. No single person. So this is what is happening, my people. This is what is going on. Wake up, Nigerians. It's the dawn of a new day. So is Aisha Buhari, who is supposed to be the first lady? This is how she's supposed to be going about things. This is how she's supposed to be looking after issues. This is what she's supposed to be doing. That somebody insulted her. And so the person must die the death. Is that what we're supposed to be doing? Do you know what the young man is going through? Do you know how much he has been, you know, what has, what, you know, he has, I, I want to assume to you that they would have dealt the hell out of him. They would not even bother if he has eaten. You know, they don't even bother if, if he's okay with him, if he's well. That's Nigeria for you. Fundamental human right off the window, which is wrong. You cannot continue like that. You cannot rule or lead the people like that. You know, the, the, the lies and all the oppression that goes on in this country cannot be overemphasized. You know, those things that they continue to do and everybody just turn a blind eye and pretend that all is well. Those things must come to an end. These are some of the days and some of the things that are happening. And why again and again, we all must continue with one accord to speak out against grave injustice and everything and anything that have held us bound for far too long and ensure that Nigeria becomes a better place, not just for one, but for all. Remember, you have a voice. Yes, remember. So it is a call for you know, duty. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.